gents. It is race day. I am in Portland, Oregon, or right outside of Portland, Oregon right now, heading toward Sandy, Oregon, which is the pickup point for the shuttle for the marathon. It is an early start. It is 3.30 right now in the morning, so I can catch my 4 o'clock shuttle to Mount Hood for my 6 o'clock start time today. So I've been trying to adjust my sleep a little. Hopefully I won't be too tired today. Uh, but thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. I'm so excited for this. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. And I did not think I could do a marathon for the longest time. But here I am. And I'm going to do it today. Let's go. Here's the wave before me. I'm still on the shuttle. I just got off the shuttle. I'm near the start line. Got about a half hour to go before the race starts. That's Mount Hood behind me, I guess. I've never seen it this close up before. Um, so let me tell you how I'm feeling. I got pre-race nerves. I'm kind of sick because the bus was really hot and was winding up the road, so my stomach's kind of not happy right now, but that's okay. It's going to clear up the next half hour before I get going. So I'm ready to do this. My hamstring is feeling okay. Pretty good, actually, after a few weeks of it acting up. So I think I'm ready to rock. Making my way down to the starting line. I'm like the last person in my wave to head down because I was stuck at those porta potties behind me. <sighs> Here we go. I just crossed the one quarter of the way done mark which is 6.5 miles. So far I feel really good. It's helped that pretty much the whole way so far has been downhill. So I'm cruising along at a pretty good pace. And once the course flattens out, I'll settle into a more normal pace. I just crossed the halfway point, 13.1 miles, and somehow set a personal record for best half marathon time. Beat my time of something like 16 years ago by a full minute. So, halfway done. Now it gets real because it's about to flatten out. The gravy train of downhill running is ending now. I just passed the three quarters mark, about six and a half miles to go. And I've learned a very difficult lesson. Don't rely on the race to provide what they say they're going to provide at the aid stations. I should have carried my own energy gel. They said they'd have it, but they don't. So every time I pass an aid station, I try to get gel and they're like, we ran out a long time ago. It's okay. I still feel all right. Still doing good. 
Just over six miles to go. I can do this. Two tenths of a mile to go. Sub four hours is within my grasp. If I just hold on for two tenths, less than a quarter mile to go. As you see me coming up and crossing the finish line here, this is just a quick voiceover. I was completely surprised by what happened here. I was completely overcome by emotion. I did not expect that. The fact that I was completely exhausted that I had just finished this big accomplishment and that I could see my family right there at the finish line. All I wanted to do was go up and hug them. I forgot to get my medal. I didn't care. I just wanted to be with them. And I was so exhausted and so happy. I didn't think I could do it a while ago, but now it's done. It's done. Hey Paige, thank you for giving me a leg massage. Ruby, can you massage your Bailey? Can you massage my other leg? <laughs> Don't squeeze her, it's too bad. Oh. oh, that's the life. I got a personal nose massager, an eyeball massager. <laughs> Why are you massaging my cheeks and eyeballs? <laughs> oh boy. I didn't dream that I would run that in under four hours. I thought it would be like 4.15 if I was lucky, but closer to 4.20, 4.25. And I don't know what my official time was, but it was around 357, which by the way is my favorite pistol caliber. <sighs>